Hi everyone! In this video, we will explain what Android Studio is, how to install it, provide an overview of the main components in the Android Studio interface, and demonstrate several basic practical functions that testers can use in their work. That is, how to connect your device and see logs via Android Studio, how to launch emulator via Android Studio, how to install application on the emulator, how to launch application that just started to develop on your device. Let's get familiar what is Android Studio. Android Studio is the official integrated development environment, IDE, for Android app development. It is a powerful and feature-rich software suite provided by Google that offers a comprehensive set of tools and resources for creating Android applications and includes various features and components that help developers throughout the app development lifecycle, including code editing, debugging, testing, and deployment. To download and install the application on your device, you need to search for Android Studio in the search engine, such as Google. Click on the first link in the search results. You'll be redirected to the developer.android.com studio website. In the middle of the screen, you will find the Download Android Studio button. Click on it. Once the installation file is downloaded, navigate to the folder where it was saved and double-click on it to start the installation process. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation of Android Studio. At the final step of the installation process, the completing Android Studio setup window will open. Check the Start Android Studio checkbox and click on the Finish button. The application will launch and the Welcome to Android Studio screen will appear. Click on the New Project button located on the top right of the menu. A new project window will be displayed presenting various project options. Select the desired option and click on the Next button. The Basic View Activity window will open. Click on the Finish button at the bottom of the window. The home page of the project will open. On the top left side of the window, you will find the menu bar of the Android Studio application. The menu bar provides access to various menus and commands for managing your project, editing code, building, running, debugging your app, and more. The next main navigation component of Android Studio is the toolbar. The toolbar is located directly below the menu bar and contains icons representing common actions such as building, running, and debugging your app, as well as shortcuts for frequently used tools and features. The next main navigation component of Android Studio is the Project View. The Project View displays the structure of your Android project on the left side of the interface. By default, it is organized in a hierarchical structure and provides a view of your project's directory structure, source files, and resources. You can navigate through your project, create new files, and access various project-related options from this panel. The next main navigation component of Android Studio is the Editor window. The Editor window is the main area where you can view and edit your source code files, layout files, resource files, and other project files. It is typically located in the center of application, occupying the largest portion of the screen. Android Studio offers a powerful code editor with features like syntax highlighting, code completion, refactoring tools, and more. You can open multiple files simultaneously in separate tabs within the Editor window. The next main navigation component of Android Studio is the Tool Windows. Tool Windows in Android Studio are panels or windows that provide specialized functionality and tools for different aspects of Android app development. They are typically located on the edges of corners of the application screen. Some common tool windows include the Project Window, Build Variants, Gradle Console, Device Manager, and more. These windows can be docked on the left, right, bottom, or floated as per your preference. 
You can open the tools windows by simply clicking on them on the edges of the application screen or via the menu. The next main navigation component of Android Studio is the Gradle console. The Gradle console is a tool window in Android Studio that displays the output and messages related to the Gradle build system. It is located in the top right corner of the application screen. The Gradle console provides information about the build process, including executed tasks, resolved dependencies and any encountered errors or warnings. It helps you monitor the progress of the build and identify any issues that may arise during the process. The next main navigation component of Android Studio is the Run Debug Configurations. These buttons are located next to the Run Debug buttons in the toolbar. The Run Debug Configurations panel allows you to configure different run and debug configurations for your app. You can specify various settings such as the module, device, command line arguments and more. Now that we have covered the main navigation of Android Studio, let's explore its practical. Our first question is how to connect your device and view logs via Android Studio. To display logs in Android Studio's LogCat, follow these steps. Connect your Android device to your computer using a USB cable. After connecting, your device should appear in Android Studio above the LogCat tab. However, the logs may not be displayed yet. To view the logs, a few more steps need to be performed. First, ensure that USB debugging is enabled on the device. Go to your device's settings menu, find the About Phone option and click on it. On the About Phone screen, click on the Software Information option, then click on the build number eight times in a row. A notification message will appear, confirming that the developer mode is turned on. Go back to the Settings menu. Now the Developer options are displayed below the Settings menu. Click on Developer options. Find the USB debugging toggle and switch it on the ON position. On the USB debugging screen, click the OK button. USB debugging is now enabled. Connect your Android device to your computer using a USB cable once again. And allow USB debugging window will open on the device. Click on the Always allow from this computer radio button and click the allow button. Go back to Android Studio. Click on the LogCat tab at the bottom of the interface. The device is connected and the logs are displayed in the LogCat tab. The LogCat navigation in Android Studio consists of several options, one of which is sorting logs. The log lever filter is displayed next to the process device drop-down field. Click on it and type a filter, for example, error. Logs from device were sorted and only log which type is error are displayed. Other options of the LogCat are located on the left navigation panel and consist of Process Device drop-down, LogCat format options, Clear LogCat, Search bar, and Tag filter. Let's move on to the next question. How to launch an emulator via Android Studio? Open Android Studio on your computer. Make sure you have an Android project open or create a new project. In the toolbar, located directly below the menu bar, find the AVD Manager icon and click on it. The AVD Manager window will open. In the center of the AVD Manager window, you will find the Create Virtual Device button. Click on it. The Virtual Device Configurator window will open. Select the desired device and click the Next button at the bottom of the window. Next, you need to select and download the system images for the different firmware versions. Click on the Download button next to any firmware version to start the download. The SDK installation window will open. Wait until the download is complete and then click on the Finish button at the bottom of the window. 
After the installation, you will return to the Virtual Device Configurator window. The system images and firmware are uploaded, and the Next button becomes active. Click on it. The Android Virtual Device window will open. On this screen, select the startup orientation of the device and click on the Finish button at the bottom of the window. Your virtual device will be displayed in the AVD Manager window. You can add several emulators and all of them will appear in the AVD Manager as a list. To run the emulator, click on the Run button located next to the device name in the AVD Manager window. After launching the emulator, the Running Devices window will display the Running Devices. The launch device will be displayed in the corresponding tab of the Running Devices window. Now, you can use the emulator by interacting with its interface in Android Studio. Let's move on to the next question. How to install an application on the emulator? Firstly, you need the installation file of your application. Download the APK file, for example, the Asphalt 8 game, and move it to any folder on your device, such as Downloads. Open the folder where the APK file is downloaded and open Android Studio with the launched emulator. Drag and drop the APK file onto the emulator screen in Android Studio. The emulator will display an installing notification. After the application is installed, a notification confirming the successful installation will appear below the emulator. The corresponding icon for your application will appear on the emulator screen, indicating that the application is ready to launch. Let's move on to the next question. How to launch an application that just started to develop on your device and test the first results. First, connect your Android device to your computer using a USB cable. Make sure that the developer mode is enabled in the settings, as we did in the first practical answer. Go back to the application. Once the device is connected, it will be displayed on the toolbar on the top right side of the Android Studio interface. On the left side of the interface, the Project Tool window will display your project. After creating a new project, it will already have basic components set up. Navigate to the following path of the project. Open the App folder, then the SRS folder, then the Main folder, then the Java folder. Click on the Main Activity file. The Main Activity Editor window will open. In the code, you will see the first screen of your application, with the text Hello Test indicating that it should display it after launching the application. To launch the current project and see the screen on the device, click on the Run button on the toolbar. The Launch Succeeded notification will be displayed below the Android Studio interface. The application with the first screen will be displayed on your device. That's all from our site. In this video, we reviewed the main functions of Android Studio. If there are functions that you would like to see and which were not in the video, write a comment or question to the lecture. We hope to see you in the next video.